Hello, and today I'm here with my mate Kadar. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. So I will I will say in your style. Hello. Well done. Now I'm going to burn you. Oh, let's try. Let's try. It. Let's try. Well, maybe not. But you're starting on your chili journey. Um, so we've done a mild one. Yes. Now we're going to pick it up a notch. Yep. So the the first one, uh, which one was that? The Cambusi. The Cambusi. Uh, that was okay. I could handle it. So oh, yeah. what's the what's the one what today? Are we doing what's, today? Yeah. What's the challenge? Today we are going to do the super chili. Hold those, my friend. So super the chili. The super chili. They're sort of like the Asian bird's eye, or the normal bird's eye, bird's eye. Yep. But instead of the plant being whoa, like six feet tall and chockers, these ones are short, and you can see hanging baskets or whatever, they'd be great. But they're an amazing producer. This would be about 25, 30 centimeters tall. So they don't get that tall. If you're yep. space challenged, right. you're in a unit, you've got a little balcony. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. They should be roughly as hot as a bird's eye, so we're looking at about 50,000 SHU. 50,000 SHU. 30 to 50, something like that. Yep. Super chili may be a bit hotter than a bird's eye. You know the bird's eyes you get from Woolies and yep. Coles and... Yep. I mean, they're very common. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, plant looks great. Awesome producer. Chilies. What do we got? They're about... I don't know, six or so, five, six or so centimeters long, about a centimeter wide. Yep. And anum variety. Yep. That's about all we're going to get info wise. Yep. Uh, I could just go, oh, I'll go bang in a full one. I will go nice. Yep. Probably half. See how you go. Yep. I will, not even half, I will start with a quarter. No, you're going to go a half. Let me try. All right, let's try. Well, cheers. Cheers. So, super chili. Super chili. <coughs> A bit just went whack into the back of my throat. Almost half. Okay. So, uh, Slight bitterness, slight sour. <coughs> so do you eat it? Do you just gulp it? Yeah, After just, chewing? Yeah. Or just throw? Right? Nah. Whatever you want to do. Normally you have it in food. Yeah. Um, yeah, ah. it's the, almost half is there. I'm sweating already. Yeah. Burn, I'm getting a little bit in the back of the throat mainly on the sides of the mouth, the tongue, the top palate. Yeah. How are you going? Tongue and the top palate. Yeah. All here. And it's building slightly, but it came in more of a punch, and then it sort of just spread throughout the mouth. Yes. How are you going? It's hot. Well, yeah. I'm starting to draw. That's what I said, they've got a little bit of an oomph, they're about a medium heat. We're sitting out here, what is it, 30 something degrees, I'm sweating. It's a stingy kind of a burn, yeah? Flavour? Again, not like a capsicum-y, bell peppery kind of a flavour. It, it's nil. It's pretty neutral. It's more a slight tang, a slight <coughs> sour, bittery, mainly on the tongue. Yeah. Back of the throat's picked up a bit more. Uh, I'm fine. I'll just do this just to uh, wipe my face. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's settled. And it's just cruising along. Yeah, now now I'm settled down. Yeah. Should be alright. Yeah. You getting any drool happening? Yes, it's drool, but I, I, I swallowed a couple of times already. Yeah. 
So there you have it. I do have it um, on the tip of the tongue. Yep. As well as on the top of the mouth. Yeah. I can feel it. I mean, I won't dare to go one more bite though. No. Just happy with this one. <coughs> but that's okay. But you can see if you put that in food, yeah. the heat would be dissipated. Yep. So you'd be able to tolerate it more. It's yeah. just because it's fresh. Yep. It gives you more of a punch. Yep. And I could see that it's not at one place because I was drooling. It had just gone all over the place. So I would imagine, so if I'm just using this in some of the recipes, it will be just all over, not just concentrated on one place, like a placenta or something. Yes. Yeah, looks good to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit heat, it's a bit hot, but okay. But I won't complain too much because this is, I think around 32 degrees. Yeah, yeah, it's Hard quite, day today. quite warm outside. Quite warm outside. But, yeah, but it's peaked. This is the main point. Yep. So you've gotten up to that level, it's peaked, it's cruising along. It is, it is. And now it'll settle in the mouth. Yeah. That medium heat, really nice. And it's a stingy kind, sharp, stingy kind of a burn. I could still feel the sting all the way up here. Yep. Well, I'll tell you what, now that it's peaked, it's cruising, We'll give it a few minutes. Yep. And we'll come back five minutes later when you're a bit more in control. Yep. And we'll see how it went. So there you go. The super chilling. Super chilly. All right. Catch you soon. Hello. And we're back five minutes later. Kada, myself, and the super chilly. How'd you go? Uh, it's all subsided now. Um, I just had a sip of, a couple of sips of water. Yeah. You shouldn't it, be having just, water, you shouldn't be having milk. But water is okay. Yeah, because I thought maybe just uh, chilled water will help me. Uh, because I didn't want to lose the heat too much. Yeah, because it's a surprise for you. I'm just gonna have a, another go at this. You are? I, I, I am, I am. That's awesome. Yeah, because um, it has subsided now in five minutes so it's it's in my opinion it is maybe just a little bit more than moderate yeah yeah about medium level so yeah. I had the full one yeah so it's as you said yeah it's dropped yep yeah. but with me it's still cruising long but at a milder at the milder I can still feel it on my tongue inside of my mouth yeah so the burn does travel a fair bit. It does. It does have like a ten or so minute burn, but it just it yeah. Just drops. Yeah, and uh, another thing is, I just had only maybe just forty percent of this, which is not too much CD or the placenta side. Yeah. So that's the reason probably I'm still okay. But yeah. you just gulped the whole one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you want me to just go for it? We'll just go for it. It'll be a good tail out for, for the video. I will just try just a little bit more, maybe a little bit more. But look at you going from from nothing to mild, and now you're bagging in medium, and you're wanting to have more. That's the cool thing. Mm. Better this time, because mm. you now you you know what to expect, and this is a reason I don't try them usually before I video them for the simple fact. I don't want to have any preconceived ideas of what it's like. Mm. So when I do it, people go, oh, and you're getting a proper view straight up of what they're like. But it's a great producer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you're space challenged, as you can see, it sort of goes more <coughs> <coughs> droopy and down than up and out. So it's great. And I reckon they go great in a hanging basket too. <coughs> <coughs> well, it was a good idea at the time. Yep. Yeah? I can feel it. Yeah, definitely. And this is a cool thing. You get people going, I just ate a boot, I just ate a scorpion, I just ate a reaper, and I nearly <coughs> died. I'm not doing that again. And then next day, or a little bit later, they do it again. 
That's just what happens. But yeah, so the super chili. Yep. And it anim, is super chili. Yeah, it is super chili. An anum from uh, unknown. But similar to the bird's eye, but as you can see, it's got a bit more of a punch. Yep. So thanks for doing that. <laughs> 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 well, we'll say goodbye to everyone. We can let you suffer a bit more. So thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for joining in. You're definitely going to have to do some more with us and pick them tolerances up. Thank you. And we'll catch everyone later. <laughs>